Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young had formed. Uh, we had done their first public performance in Los Angeles on a Friday night. On a Saturday night, we played in Chicago. On Sunday, we were supposed to go to Woodstock. The boys were taken in, and I was told I couldn't go because I had to do a television show the next day, and there was a possibility we could get in, but they didn't know how that we could get out. I felt, you know, that this was an amazing thing that had occurred, and. To me, that was an important event, and I think I knew that that was as good as it was going to get. I hear you did very well at the festival. Did it feel good? At 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 in the morning? <laughs> in, the, in the rain. Yeah. Or 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> it felt good. Try 7.30 or 8. Right. It felt good. I still have my mud. Did it still felt good. <laughs> I still have my mud. I wasn't there. Uh, well, how was the uh, festival in general? Would you consider it a... Success. It was incredible. Yeah. It was probably the strangest thing that's ever happened in the world. Everybody said there was some. <laughs> Can I describe to you what it looked like flying in on a helicopter, man? It looked yes. like an, an encampment of the Macedonian army on the Greek hills, <laughs> crossed with a with the biggest batch of gypsies you ever saw. So this, how did you get out? I hear that they're still trooping back. It, it was, yeah, fast. <laughs> it was amazing. Did, did your parents uh, all know where you are? 
Uh, I, I mean that semi-seriously. Uh, do any of you have... Uh, do, Parents? No, no, I, no, we all of course. <laughs> Please. Stephen, could you do a number four, do you think, before it's uh, too late? Number six. Please. Number nine. Number nine? That's always been my... Will I get to the end? Yes. Before you know it. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Four and twenty years ago, we come into this life. The son of a woman and a man who lived in strife. He was tired of being poor. And he worked like the devil to be more. Different kind of poverty now upsets me so. Night after sleepless night, I walk the floor and I want to know why am I so alone? Where is my woman? Can I bring her home? Have I driven her away? Is she gone? Morning comes the sunrise and I'm driven to my bed I see that it is empty and there's devils in my head I embrace the many colored beast I grow weary of the torment, can there be no peace And I catch myself just wishing that my life would simply cease. It was at Tess Agat's house. David and I had been hanging together for a while. He'd just uh, been separated from the birds, if you will. And we were sort of figuring out what to do next. We were hanging out and stuff, and the Hollies came to town. We all went down to see him, and uh, and turns out Nash is kind of uh, he's real frustrated, right? musicians in today's generation are in a fantastic position. And how does music fit into this? Music is the whole, the whole thing, expression. man. It's an expression of the younger generation. And they say it's a bunch of noise. They turn down the noise. But is it really noise? Do they ever listen to the words? But just because we're not going along with society, like everybody else goes, they want everybody to do the same thing and live their own life. They want, they, all they want you to do, they want you to grow up, get an education, raise children, and die. Battle lines being drawn. Nobody's right if everybody's wrong. Young people speaking their minds, getting so much resistance from behind. We got to stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. I quit the Buffalo Springfield and, and all of that. And I've got a couple of songs. We're sitting around in, 
Cass's dining room one afternoon, and uh, I think the f I started, uh, we started playing this song, In the Morning When You Rise, Do You Think of Me? Right? And Nash joined in, and it was just, and me and David were driving home, and we said, now, how are we going to do this? You know, because we didn't know that he wanted to quit the Hollies or anything. It just was in, oh, God, that was wonderful. How are we going to, can we, should we? So we finally, he said, would you like to come and play with us? And he said, oh, yes. Helplessly hoping her heart again hovers nearby, awaiting a word. Gasping at glimpses of gentle true spirit, he runs, wishing he could fly, fly only to trip at the sound of goodbye. Wordlessly watching, he waits by the window and wonders at the empty place inside. Heartlessly helping himself to her bad dreams, he worries, did he hear a goodbye, I, or even, hello, they are one person, they are two alone, they are three together, they are four each other. Stand by the stairway, you see something certain to tell you Confusion has its cost Love isn't lying, it's loose in a lady Who lingers, saying she is lost And choking on hello On one side, you got a set of values that's doom, death, degradation, and despair being dealt out like cards off the bottom of the deck by a gray-faced man who hates you. And on the other side, you got a girl running through a field of flowers, man, half naked and high and laughing in the sunshine. Now, you offer those two alternates to a child, and a child is too smart to make that mistake, man. It's not going to go for that gray-faced dude with the cards. Pop singers get through to millions of people, and I really mean millions. What kind of people? Uh, you don't get through to adults. They get through to the kids that are going to become adults. You who are on the road must have a code that you can live by, and so become yourself because the best is just a goodbye. Teach your children well, cause their father's hell did slowly go by. And feed them on your dreams, the one they fix, the one you know by. Don't you ever ask them why, if they told you you would cry. Look at them and sigh And know they love you And you, you hear Of ten years Do you care Can't know the fears you see That your elders grew by so please help them with your youth. You they seek the truth before they can die. Can teach your parents well. 
Cause that children's hell will slowly go by And feed them on your dreams The one they fix, the one you know by Don't you ever ask them why If they told you you would cry So just look at them and sigh an awful lot of different ways to look at music. We had 50s electric small band music, rock and roll here, but it was limited changes and limited poetry, right? So then it runs smack into folk music with all kinds of great chord changes and great words. And lots of young practitioners starting to want to write their own songs, Dylan for instance. And uh, what happens? You get a synthesis, you know, you create a new music. In the morning when you rise Think of me and how you left me crying Are you thinking of telephones? Yes, I am And managers and where you got to be at noon You are living a reality I left years ago and quite nearly killed me in the long run, it will make you cry, make you crazy and old before your time. And the difference between me and you, I won't argue right or wrong, but I have time to try. Most of it relevant in its context. Very little of music is going to matter a hundred years from now. It's the same process will take place on us. Only a little bit of our work is going to last at all, you know, and matter.
And if you can do it, and can make a living at it, boy, it's worth going through a lot, man. Me and Stills butt heads all the time, man. I got a lot of respect for the cat, and I care about him a great deal. But boy, I argue. Nash, too. We're all very, you know, opinionated cats, there's no question. It's difficult, but sometimes the music is just strong enough. It just pulls out of us a better self. No, I can't sing in that room because you can't hear me. And so, well, because so? you can't hear me, I sing louder. And because I sing louder, I push harder. And because I push harder, I got no throat. Yeah, that's true. I can't do it, man. Okay. To, to be fair to you guys, I should shut up until the Greek theater. Or oh, whenever the first gig is. Because I know I can step in and put my part in. But I can't, we can't get a blend that way. No, we can't get a blend that way. And not only that, but That's we can't, exact. we can't rehearse it so that it all makes sense together. See, man, they got to be, I mean, like Dallas and they don't play just to the track. They listen to the vocal, man. You know he's conscious well, of the vocal. What you got to do, vocal. man, is play acoustic now. And, and, and we'll try and get a big place as soon as well, we can. They, I mean, well, the Dave and I have been sat here for at least half an hour. Because we were told that we were going to play acoustic guitars right here. Right. So yeah. where's Stephen? It's about the time that we've wasted acting like idiots. I mean, when you're 23 years old and I suddenly have all the money in the world and all the attention in the world thrust upon you, it can crack your brains. And I think that we all, three of us, went through that period and we wasted a lot of time doing it. It was so much easier to walk off in a snit. I'm not gonna cop out an inch to fear. And you walked out two fucking days in a row, you fucking hypocrite. You piss me off. Now let's do it. Again. I couldn't follow that. This time, I, I, I will try to sing. Find the cost of freedom. Swallow you, lay your body down. What we've been trying to do as musicians all our lives is trying to entice people to think more, to find out more information, and to figure out something that they can do. Because everybody here can make a difference. Every single person here can make a difference. <laughs>
disappear It's not that we don't know It's just that we don't want to care time that that songwriters should do should do that to should react you know to stuff that's going on uh, is when they're absolutely moved to do so when it just smacks them in the face and they gotta react I don't think you should go out and look for uh, you know causes in order to have a cause or because it's hip this week I don't think you should you know take a political stance I don't think it has anything to do with making music at all
to see what's in my heart It seems more honest than the tears I am curious Don't wanna hurry us I'm intrigued with us Ain't this song of us voices that Crosby, Stills and Nash was able to pull off was uh, exciting. Obviously people had sung three-part harmony for years, but there is something about David and Stephen and my voice that when blended together provides something unique. It's about these these three, these three buddies, Steve, and they didn't know how to talk to one another for years. Wasted a lot of time, a lot of money. And then they finally made friends. Got rich. We met life face on, and we suffered for it, but we're real. We're as real as you can get. And I woke up. And I knew you would be gone A new day 